Yeah, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. The problem number one asks, Stan borrowed 5,000 one year ago. Now he has to repay 5,100. Okay, now here we are going to calculate the interest rate. To calculate the interest rate, first we have to know what is the interest. It's easy just for, since it is 5,100, we can directly see dollar five thousand one hundred minus dollar five thousand that's equal to dollar hundred and the interest rate i that's what we are trying to find and the dollar five thousand one hundred is equal to dollar five thousand times one plus i here i is what we are trying to find i is equal to zero point zero two and that's equal to two percentage okay that's what we are trying to find and then the problem number two asks if a sum of 5000 is borrowed for six months at 12 percentage interest rate per year what is the total due at the end of the at end of six months <clears throat> okay now let's see how to calculate this one here we have 12 percentage so i is equal to i m is equal to 0 0.12 divided by 12 and that's equal to 0 0.01 that's equal to one percentage and f is equal to <coughs> p, p times 1 plus im power 6 p is principal amount that's 5000 so 5000 times 1 plus 0 0.01 power 6 that's equal to 5000 dollar 5307 0.6 and f is equal to dollar 5307.6 that's the final answer now let's look next let's look at the next problem problem number three says suppose that in order to finance your studies at university three options are available to you one is a student loan interest free as long as you are a full-time student and the second one is a student line of credit and the third one is a part-time job at minimum wage. In making your decision, what factors should be taken into account and why? Now here, which one we are going to choose? Student loan, there's no interest until we finish the studies. So comparing to this one, a student line of credit and student loan, student loan is the better choice because there's no interest until we finish the study. And part-time job is going to be income for us so it's it's better than all these two student loan and student line of credit having a part-time job is job is better but there's a something uh, something called opportunity cost if part-time job is affecting the studies you know like we couldn't spend more hours studying so it's it's called opportunity cost therefore if we have so the opportunity cost is higher than the income it means student loan is a better choice but all together having a part-time job is a better choice and if it's above the opportunity cost it means student loan is the best so these two are the choice but part-time job is the obvious choice okay and that's it i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you're trying to learn engineering economics there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i'm going to create more videos on my playlist i hope you guys watched it too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time